Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. It's Tuesday, April 8th, 2025, and this week is National Public Health Week. And today I'm kicking off the week with an overview of public health. I am proud to share that I've spent part of my professional career as a physician working in public health. I've served in three health departments, one large city health department and two county health departments. Now, what is public health exactly? Well, the CDC Foundation defines public health as the science of protecting and improving the health of people and their communities. There are three P's of public health. I learned this when I was in public health school getting my master's in public health, and it refers to the core functions, prevention, taking steps to avoid diseases and injuries before they occur, protection, safeguarding populations from health threats and hazards, and promotion, encouraging healthy behaviors and lifestyles to improve overall well-being. These three functions work together to prevent disease, protect health, and promote a healthier society. Now, public health is broad and all-encompassing. I can include everything that public health does, but the functions are as diverse as promoting infant and child health through breastfeeding, newborn screening to detect and treat conditions early, ensuring timely immunizations for children, lead screening programs, child safety, oral health, education, disease prevention, and disaster response preparation, ensuring clean air, safe water, and food safety, controlling and containing communicable disease outbreaks, promoting uh, mental health and well-being across the lifespan, and setting safety standards to protect workers. These are just a few. So I can't cover everything in one video, so each message that I post during National Public Health Week 2025 will highlight a specific public health topic. Now the theme for National Public Health Week 2025 is it starts here. Public health starts in our daily lives, in the places that we live, we work, we play, and re we worship. As someone who has worked in public health, I know it's power to change lives. So let's honor this week by staying informed, engaged, and committed to protecting the health of our communities and the public health infrastructure here in this United States and around the world. That's my message. Take care and be well.